Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O again. And my guest today is a lady named Donna Bundrick. And she's from down in part of the state that Tom grew up in. And she grew up down there too. And it's around Lexington County. Tom was around Sumter County. That's not very far apart, is it? That's right, and Mary Beth, it's such a pleasure to be with you. And, thank you. And thank you and your wonderful daughter, Marie, for visiting our farm. Mm -hmm. Mary Beth came down with me and uh, to visit, and um, we really enjoyed having you. Um, she got to see what we're all about. We're natural, we're fresh, we're in most grocery stores, and uh, we're actually one of the oldest farming operations in South Carolina. And in fact, we're one of the largest growers of collards in the whole nation. We have about 5,000 acres down there. Oh, um, wow. They started in 1925 by Mr. Walter and Miss Ernestine Rawl. These people are so forward-thinking. In, in fact, back then, they were really forward-thinking. They took their products to market, and their alibi back then was sell what you can, can what you can't. So the residue products they left over, and they had a cannery, which actually disbanded in the 1970s. Wow. And they moved from Gilbert to Pillion. Um, we employ about 450 people. As I mentioned, we have our products in all grocery stores. And if you don't see it, we recommend that you ask for it because it's natural. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. It's wholesome. It's safe. Um, I commend the whole raw team for getting together on food safety. I mean, they really have the best experts from all over the United States uh, uh, critiquing their products as they go out from the plant to the different distribution centers of the grocery stores. So I'm just real happy. I've been there six and a half years, and I'm, I'm kind of like a kid with with candy in a pocket. You know, I just love being now, there. Now, didn't you grow up with some of the Ross children? Actually, yes. I actually. I grew up within a mile. So it's almost like a family. Right, yes. And mm -hmm. we actually formed together, but uh, now I'm working for them. How cool is that? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I, um, I've always wanted to be um, live on a farm and so one of the things I prayed about Donna was that I would marry a guy who had grown up in the country and I did except that guy didn't want to go back to the country after he came to Clemson so um, I should have prayed for that too that he want to go back but today we're going to be cooking everybody um, day um, two dinner the chicken and rice the sweet potatoes and the collars and Donna here is going to show you how we use her products to make my collards recipe and then she's added something new that I haven't tried before so I'm excited about that Donna. Let me tell you Marie and I, my daughter, went to visit them, spent the day driving down there and all and we hated to come back but Marie was in a wedding so it was rehearsal the night after we were there so we're going to go back but everybody was so wonderful and the surprising thing is when I heard about Rawls food I thought I never heard of them and you're probably thinking that too but the collards that I buy from either Bilo or Ingalls all these years, it turns out has been Rawls food. So, um, but now these packaging, you sent me home with so many wonderful things, so Thank I had you. fun trying it. I've always cut everything up myself. And this is wonderful, ladies. This also makes my meals so much quicker because it's fresh. The other wonderful thing is it's not carrying a lot of uh, preservatives and things that children will be allergic to. But when you're working, moms, or you're just so busy with the kids on the road and everything like that, um, or the other things that are going on in your life, and for you widows, too, you can do this. And, um, and it makes for a great meal. Today, she is cooking from her collard bag here. And when you do this whole bag by my recipe, we're, we're gonna save out enough for a family of four, but this would be for a family of eight. And then what you can do is either have it leftovers the rest of the week, right, Donna? That's or right. what I'm gonna show you is when she has finished this and she's already shown us how beautiful it is, she's gonna show us how to cook it. Um, we can put it in freezer bags. Collards cooked freeze up great. That's right. Now, I'm gonna tell a little story about you. When we went down there, I brought food for them to try off mine. And she had a spread that you would not believe. Everything was wonderful. The, the, I don't know if you have that one out, the one you made the dip with, with the, the collar dip. Yes, yes. She made something that we thought was spinach dip and it was collar dip and it was absolutely delicious. So if your kids don't like collards, we're going to put the collard dip recipe on my website so that you can try that. And it's a great summer thing to have at barbecues or whatever. 
uh, she was so sweet that she sent it home with us and Marie and I were trying to get to it to eat it in the car. It was so good. So um, there are a lot of ways that you can mask good vegetables so that your kids will like them. And that collar dip didn't have anything bad in it and it was excellent. So here we go. We're going to start with the I'm going to start with the chicken recipe. She's going to start with the collar one, but we'll let's go ahead and let you start first. Okay. How about that, but I'm going to share with you something. This wonderful lady brought me her wonderful cinnamon rolls, her <coughs> wonderful bread, a wonderful pimento and cheese, and actually my husband and I, <laughs> we really got into it over the cinnamon rolls because they were so good and I love cinnamon, but the bread, the pimento and cheese, thank you so much and we were so glad you could visit with us. Oh, we had a And blast. look forward to the next yeah. time as well. But our collars, as Mary Beth told you, I am using a one, one pound bag. Now these are already cut and chopped. It gives you the vitamin content on the front. Some other things you can do with the product on the front um, right hand side. And also on the back, by law, we have to have a labeling. We have a great recipe, simple saute, drink to your health. So lots of good ways that you can use our collards. By the way, Mary Beth, and like I told Mary Beth, we also have these shredded in the grocery store. Now, I like to use the shredded, particularly in the collar dip, right. because I don't have to recut them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, for this recipe, it is so yummy, it is so good. And Mary Beth, thanks to her wonderful cookbook, I have mm -hmm. tried some of your recipes. They are just super, Thank and I you. am so proud of you. Okay, we are putting four cups of water in a large stock pot. To that, we're going to add a cup of chicken broth. Now, this is the natural chicken the broth. Swanson Natural. Right, That's yes. right. I okay. use that when I don't use my baked um, broth that I have put up. Go ahead, Don. Okay. Now, we're going to put in a whole pound of the collard greens. And one beautiful thing about this, and I've, I've been so remiss in telling your audience this, these things are already triple washed and cut up for you. So all oh. you have to do is put them in the pot. Right. Now, now that is just wonderful yeah. because I work part time for Raw and uh, for Wall Street Raw, but you know, I just have so many things going on in my life until I don't have time to do what Mama did. I know she I got know. the collared out. She she oh, you know yes. stemmed it, cut it up, well, washed it, whatever. Well, that's what and, I've been um, doing by because I was buying yours that are still like that, and I didn't know about this, right. so I'm tickled. Thank you. We put in some red bell pepper, and one thing about our versatile veggie products now. These are a dream too. Yes, they are. We have the sliced squash, we have the fajita mix, we have the pepper medley, we have the red onion, the green onion, the yellow onion. So I just love these because you can go in the grocery store and you can get them and you don't have to chop them you off. Sent home some Roma, you sent home with me a one like this that had just plain Roma tomatoes in right. it. Right. And then of course you sent home the one with the uh, red onion and I did a pasta salad. Yum. A, a spinach noodle pasta salad with that and it was excellent. They tasted like I had just chopped them up. Wow. Okay, now we put in some red bell pepper for color. Now you could saute your onion and red bell pepper in a little olive oil if you wanted to. Okay and then cook your collards in the water and the chicken broth, the natural chicken broth, and drain it and put them in, or either you can cook them this way, whatever you prefer. Now, this is really a great ingredient. This is natural maple syrup. And um, what I've done, uh, Mary Beth and I both do a lot of media production, I just kind of oil the container so it's much easier oh, to come out and it doesn't get all yes, sticky. That's right. But uh, anyway, we're gonna put that in. We're gonna cut our burner up our heat up to about high and then we will be good to go we're going to let, let these cook about 30 minutes so uh remember you know when you're in the grocery store that you have these wonderful products that all the work's done out of done for you all the work's taken out of it and, and so that's just great i want to say did y'all see how quick she did the collards when i'm cutting up collards it takes me over an hour so this right. was a dish we all loved but we didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it so much because it was always cutting and chopping and right. everything like that. So now you can make this dish and cook it in an hour's time. So while that's cooking, you can start on another dish, which is the chicken and rice. We are going to um, go ahead to a commercial break, and when you come back, we're going to start on the chicken and rice dish. Thank you. <laughs> 